Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Unampeze Gomtambo. My face is shining bright like a diamond. <laughs> I've just done my face care routine, guys. And if you're wondering what face care routine I'm talking about, check the link of the video below. Anyways, that is not what today is all about. Today is about something a bit of a mixed feeling, sensitive kind of topic or kind of talk but check this out you're going to need to make a choice for me and you're going to need to make it today you can be his caregiver or you can be his lover you can't be both right i'm going to be his lover i am I want to be his girlfriend. I want to be his support. I want to be his happy place, and I want him to be mine. You can't be both. Now, you might want to be both. You might want her to be both because you're saying, I don't want a stranger coming in here. I, I want somebody that I'm comfortable with, intimate with, and know. But there are other ways to go about this. Like I say, I've been doing this a long time. I know how to make this work elsewise. But if she remains your caregiver, she won't be your girlfriend. This won't work. It won't kind of not work. It won't work. A hundred out of a hundred times, this won't work. So basically, guys, I am in an interabled relationship, which means um, we are a couple and one person is living with disability and the other person is not living with disability. And that makes us an interable couple. If I had seen or have watched that video before I met Mr. Mtembu, it would have been a barrier. It would have created some kind of fear, I think, and some hesitancy. And it would have basically uh, been an obstacle getting to know him much better and possibly fall in love with him like I did. I just so, want to say that according to my experience and my point of view, it is possible to be a lover and a caregiver at the same time. That kind of relationship has helped us communicate to each other and with each other way much better. It has helped us learn to express our feelings much better in terms of bonding it had it has really really helped us um, create this lovely bond it has helped me understand his body way much better than before it has helped us understand each other more especially me understand his body and um, the changes that take place in his body like for example when he's feeling pain or when he's in discomfort he doesn't have to say to me i can just see it so being a lover and a caregiver at the same time has a lot of positivity it has a lot of a great impact on our relationship and it has helped us learn so much about each other so it let me just breathe, guys. Let me just breathe <laughs> and take it all in. What happens in the long run that we have to get a caregiver or some circumstances come on our way, that caregiver has to leave and then we have to get somebody new. It just doesn't feel comfortable. It's just the disclaimer, this is just our experience um, as an interabled couple. This is just my point of view as well. So it is not in any way discouraging any couples, any interabled couples um, to get caregivers or to get a caregiver um, to assist in the physical aspects of their life. Um, I hope so. you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Till we meet again, stay blessed.